Welcome to Bear's Fish. What do you do when you make an impulse buy for two different fish tanks? You saw two different quarantines. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Okay. So now we're going to set two quarantines. I know I talked about doing the little disposable jobs, you know, early on in this channel. I've learned since then, thank you to Aquarium Co-op and a bunch of other folks. Uh, so we are now going to go and set up two different tanks. In this one, this is a 20 long uh, that we have for the rack, but I, I haven't set up yet for my guppies. What we're going to do with this one here is cut these pieces of plexi to make some quick lids. And this is going to house six convict cichlids for the 40 breeder. I'll talk about that more in a little bit. Then over in the 10 gallon, this is strictly for quarantine purposes. I got some more ladies for the guppy tank. So we're going to use this. We're going to cut the plexi. I'm going to rearrange it a little bit, have just a little bit of a gap for the airlines to get in and we're going to be good to go. This 10 gallon can't set up on the main rack, so we're gonna put that off on the side where the fryer are at. I'm gonna walk you through that in just a little bit. But first, let's get cutting these lids. All right, so we have marked all the lids for the inner dimensions of the tanks front to back. I'm gonna take this uh, handy dandy scratcher here, and we're gonna go ahead and just create a lot of that very annoying noise. Yes, yes we are. There's a lot of ways to cut this stuff. You can use a bandsaw, a table saw, a jigsaw, but this is one of the easier ways to do it. You wanna get a good part of the way through and then snap it, but I check it every now and again to see how close I am so I can get a better cow. It's been a while since I've actually played with this stuff. For those of you who haven't messed with acrylic before, this is just a plastic coating to keep it from getting all scratched up. And then we can remove that piece and the plastic from that side. We have a nice lid for the tank. Two more to go and I'll show you what they look like when we're done. Now that the lids are cut, I'm going to show you exactly why I run so much filtration on these tanks. I told you before, we want to be able to set up a quarantine tank really fast or a new tank really fast. Here comes that opportunity. So what I've already gone and done is disconnected uh, a filter on this side of the gentleman's tank and a filter on this side of the lady's tank. I'm going to clean off any snails. I'm going to move one of them down to the 20 long and the other one into the 10 gallon. Um, I'm gonna leave the camera rolling, hope you can see it. If not, don't worry about it, I'm missing an awful lot. I do have a bucket of uh, dechlorinated water to put the filters in while I'm moving them around so I can kind of clean them off a little bit before they go into the new tanks. Um, I don't really wanna bring them out too much inside the tanks that they're in, just to kind of make it easier to clean when I get to that point. As you can see, they didn't go quite as cleanly as I had hoped, but they got most of the snails to stay where they belong while they're breeding for sale. All right, now to hook these up. All right, so now, pop this off. And the first thing I want to do is throw a filter in here. This has a valve on it to control the flow. 
And this line also has a check valve in it and goes to the pump. And now the same thing for this tank up here. You can see the air pump down here in the back. And now it's time for the heater. And I set mine right to 79, actually just a slight bit under 79. I put the clip up high and then because it's a quarantine, I prefer to have it right on the bottom and running out that back corner so that I can get it to the plug, which is back here and we'll house everything in time, but no pluggy until there's water. And then that little notch I cut out starts to make a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? All right, next step, water. So because of the way these racks are set up, I don't think I've ever shown any of you how I do water changes, but this is a general idea. Uh, we have a bucket above the tank that's gonna get filled and we siphon and gravity fill each of these. Usually I put the bucket all the way up on the top of the rack to fill the upper two, but this one's down here and the hose isn't quite long enough. So we will do the best we can. And uh, yeah, if you feel like watching this, we're gonna put it in fast forward, but I am not gonna make you watch all of this. Unnecessary, but very enjoyable shot of fish and snails while the other tanks are filling. Shh, don't tell my camera person, she'll get mad. is now full and floating the new female guppies and we got some uh, floating plants for the top of the tanks normally I would just go ahead and zip that right into one of the tanks but I want it to quarantine along with the fish since they all came from the same place uh, I'm gonna let everybody mellow and then I'm gonna add all the meds to these tanks plop and drop and we'll come back and get some footage of these guys hanging out in there so stay tuned Funny enough, they get so much light from the tank above, I might not even put a light on this tank. If I do, however, I've got some old leftovers from some 20 talls. I'll put them on a bit of an angle because I don't ever trust acrylic to hold up very long. It always gets soft and warps over time over water. Uh, especially when it's this thin, it's like 3 8 it's not really fixed up at all. Um, but for the moment, I actually think there's enough shared light that I don't really need to. I'm not trying to grow any plants in here, and it is just a quarantine, so I'm going to leave it closed for a minute. We're going to go ahead and get the ladies in their tank, and then it's time for medications. Okay, so here we go. Emithromycin, general cure, 10 gallon doses of each, right on into the tank. Ickex, right on into the tank. Again, just enough for the 10 gallons that are in here. I like to give it a little bit of a stir to make sure everybody gets plenty of meds in there. I'm 
not running carbon. If you have a hang on bay, uh, hang on back filter, make sure you're not running any carbon in it. Just mechanical filtration. And in this case, bio. And that's it. This tank is good to go. Same thing for these guys. Emerthomycin. General cure. And ICX. This time enough for 20 gallons. And then mix it up. Get it spread out throughout the tank. Now, everybody is hanging out in here for seven days, unless there's problems. Then they'll hang out longer as needed. No water changes, no food today. We're good to go. All right, so the quarantines are all set up, seven days in there, and then everybody starts going to their you know, permanent tanks. The ladies are going to go to the ladies' tank, and if they're pregnant, hopefully birth. Uh, the convicts, I did tell you I was going to tell you a little bit more about what's going on with them. They're going in the 40 breeder. My wife has that common Placo and the Raphael catfish, and they're total punks. They beat up anything we put in that tank with them. We're hoping a slightly more aggressive fish and a school of six will kind of calm them the hell down. If not, we'll see who hangs out. But that's what's going on there. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Make sure you check all the rest of our vids. Be sure to subscribe. Click that bell down below so you get notified on every video coming up. Make sure you check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and definitely over on Instagram. You're going to see a lot of pictures of these guys over the next couple of days. Thanks and have a great day.